Yes. But this was from the same, it's in podcast topics. It's from the same Twitter user. It says, Chapter 80 of Borto is objectively the best written and most iconic new gen manga chapter. Mind you, this is after Two Blue Vortex has been out. This is like um, a week ago. Mm. So, how did he get the Homecoming arc so much above the Omnipotence arc with that thought process in mind? <laughs> You know, maybe he just hated the Homecoming arc because only the end of the Homecoming arc was good and the rest of it is what was bad. And so with Two Blue Vortex, it's been consistently hype, okay? It's been hype, therefore, because it's consistent, the consistency outweighs the inconsistencies of this peak and valley. Well, that could work. So with that in mind, though... um. Which, which should we um explain why chapter eighty is the best uh chapter of all time, or should we debunk uh why it's not the best chapter of all time? Why not both? <laughs> okay. By the way, Tomway, since um, you found this guy, on I'll, Twitter, I'll start. You know, really I'll start quick. by saying why it's the best chapter. I, of I all do time. want you to. Okay, you need to get this guy on the podcast. You need to invite him. You have his Twitter. <laughs> we gotta hear his say. <laughs> yeah. But go ahead, you decide. <laughs> That's honestly hilarious. Yeah, so, I mean, guys, let's think about, you know, when we think about best chapters of all time, we got to consider the things that happen. So, look no further than Borto Chapter 80. Like, dude, Sarada awakened the Monk Gekyo Sharingan. <laughs> Do I even need to explain more? We've been waiting for no, years dude. for that. That shit don't matter. Exactly. We were waiting the whole manga, and she did it. Like, yo, that is hype. Oh, and should I mention Sage Mitsuki attacked? Like, bro, we've been waiting this whole <laughs> series for Sage Mitsuki, and we got it. And... Oh Sorry, my god, Sasuke coming in clutch. He just saved Borto. It was so cool. And dude, Team 10 was turning on Borto. Like, that was hype, man. <laughs> and dude, <laughs> Momoto stood on business to Momoshiki. <laughs> he put that. Due to shame. That's my main character. And do I even need to talk about the final panel when Bro did the fist pump with his hand and said, Ah, Borto Zamaki, that's my new gen MC. Chills. And don't even get me started on Ada falling for Borto in his Chadness and Borto's <laughs> character oh, growth when he realized where his flaws were and what he needs to do to defeat Kawaki and how he's gonna be like his dad. Like, what a Chad, bro. Like, huh, I do I can't believe I just had to explain that. Like, there, there ain't no way you weren't on the same page as me. You get my drift or what? Yeah, bro, especially coming off the last chapter. Omnipotence is the greatest plot twist of all time. In all of media, there's never been a plot twist greater than Omnipotence. It's the greatest plot twist I've ever seen. And with Sarada... It was going just back... truly generational. <laughs> oh, I forgot, dude. We had a generational narrator in Momoshiki too. Like, bro is narrating like never before. Bro, the way Boruto was running away from Mitsuki, he got away just <laughs> like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, the just art was so clear, dude. and they didn't draw multiple hands or anything to indicate multiple fast <laughs> movements. Go get my water. It's like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the way Borto was sitting on the rock talking to Aiden Sasuke, it was so fluid, just like a movie. <laughs> yeah, ignore the fact that it's a manga. No, it was fluid, guys. <laughs> uh, let's let's not forget Sarada. She didn't just awaken her Mangyako Sharingan. 
She awoke in it out of love, therefore scaling above the Otsutsuki. It was the most hype awakening of all time, bro. Like, dude, Sara's character development was generational. It was like a movie. <laughs> it was the most generational movie of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting years yeah, dude. to see Sarada's Mangekyo <laughs> pattern because the design of it was cool. <laughs> That's all I really wanted to see from the Mangekyo. Like I didn't want to see anything else. It's it's too early uh to do anything of it. I'm just glad that they introduced the Mangekyo to give us the pattern in this arc because that was the meaning of introducing exactly. the Mangekyo in this arc. It it served its narrative purpose and did exactly what the Mangekyo Sharingan should have done in this arc. Exactly. And, like, the impact, the build-up, like, we don't even need the build-up to it anyway. Like, I can't believe they did as much as they did. We were, we didn't deserve that. It was an honor to get that much build-up. Because <laughs> just the fact that they did it in part one is hype. <laughs> oh and don't even get me started on the greatest time skip setup of all time when they had kawaki looking in the sky and sarada looking in the sky and code saying he's gonna kill boruto like dude that was such a good time skip setup in fact let's not forget that trash boruto has been awful for the first uh, like 78 chapters but thankfully the time skip is gonna save boruto the series and it's gonna be hype and cool because it's a time skip and because it's a time skip it's gonna be better now exactly that's why we needed the time skip in chapter 80 imagine if we had to wait another chapter no terrible right we needed the time skip as soon as possible the Boruto chapter 80, if we if we had it our way, should have just been in chapter 10, bro. <laughs> we should have just gotten the time skip as soon as possible because it's just the, the time skip makes it better. It's so hype. Especially when the anime comes around to fix it. When they fill in the trash manga, like just the slideshow, which is way better, when they ignore the filler because they're going seasonal. And that means that they're going to fix their schedule. Because when it's seasonal, the schedule automatically gets fixed. Therefore, it's going to look hype. It's going to be so much better when they add in all the new things that I want them to add in, despite me wanting them to adapt the manga for verbatim and no filler. Exactly. And because it's seasonal, we're going to get more episodes too. So we're going to get episodes every day <laughs> because it's seasonal. And the it's going to do only manga canon while fixing the manga. So it's going to add all that extra oomph we want, but only in manga canon, so there won't be any filler because it's seasonal and we get it daily. Exactly. Because so, it's a time skip, by the way. Yeah, and Boruto, Boruto's gonna unlock the Jogon the moment the star happens, and it they don't need to explain it because don't forget, show, don't tell, which is exactly what they need to do with Mitsuki Sage Mode just not hurting them anymore. I'm so glad they didn't explain it because why would we need to rely on dialogue when we have context clues? It just makes sense. Exactly. Like, honestly, I think they've had too much dialogue in the story. If It would be better if they just didn't talk, honestly. Like, <laughs> if they just showed the dialogue. us everything. Yeah, like, I don't even know why they have it there anymore. And, like, it, dude, the story just peaked. Like, I don't know why people want us to get an explanation on, like, the, the, the dark future Borto stuff. Just show me it, bro. Like, don't don't tell me how Borto met Koji. No, just show me, bro. Just just show me Borto next to Koji, dude. That's all I need. I just need to, to see them standing next to each other. Yeah, well, obviously, aside from Sarada talking to Hidari, 
But aside from that dialogue, the rest of it we can just scrap. No, dude, just don't even don't even tell me what don't even give me their words, bro. Just show me them talking without the dialogue. Just show me, bro. Just show me them with their mouths open. <laughs> And I'm so glad Boruto stood on business <laughs> like a anything. man against Momoshiki, who was crying like a woman. Dude, exactly. And, like, Ada was standing on business when she said, I'm not going to look for Kawaki. Like, that's that's our girl, bro. <laughs> and do I need to talk about Sarada standing on business with Hidari in Shikamaru in the Hokage office. Girl, let him have it. And thankfully, Boruto, uh, Naruto finally got his comeuppance by being sealed away since he was being such a bad father the whole series. Like, why didn't he just make shadow clones? Bro, I don't he's get being it. So irresponsible. Like, bro got what he deserved. Like, why did he even keep being Hokage? Like, his son died and he cared? What was he thinking? <laughs> he's gotta be Hokage like, and like a bro man was not stand on, on business. business. <laughs> exactly. Bro should have just man up. Looked at Borto and said, good job, my son. I'm going to kill Momoshiki and Code. As he looks at Code, gets a dark, devious glare in his eyes, and he just murders Code. Code's just gone because Naruto is standing on business. And of course, he has to do it in the biggest explosion possible. No focusing energy. No oh, condensing the attack. The no, no, but we need Naruto to look cool, so you have to make it as big as possible. Yeah, and Naruto will be the strongest in the verse um, in this scene, because that's our goat, man. That's what I wanted to see. And all that happened in chapter 80. The context clues were there. <laughs> it was all inferences.